Okay, here I am at the job, and uh, we're going to be putting 12 panels. You can see the empty spot. That's the three panels I have on my truck. Um, this is a standing seam metal roof, and so the racking system clamps to the standing seams, called an S5 clamp, and then the panels are uh, clamped down to the racking. So there's no penetration of the metal roof to cause leaking. Everything is clamped, and then we're going to route around the gutter, most likely, the we do not want to cause a leak. And so there's the 12 panels facing south and uh, approximately an 812 pitch roof so it's good for the latitude here and uh, we'll show you the inside. Okay here's the inside. Like I told you before we're doing a Schneider electric system. We've got a Xantrex Schneider 4548 inverter and um, XW MPPT 60 um, 150 volt charge controller. We're not done with this system. Got to put on things like temperature sen sensors. We're also taking the existing panel and going through and picking out some critical circuits we've already identified: kitchen circuits, refrigerator, washing machine, um, the well pump, and we're going to put a secure panel right up here on the wall. And we're going to pull out of this this existing panel those critical circuits, and they will run our secure circuits over here. So um, the battery cabinet is is here. Um, Sunstore Solar makes their own battery cabinets, and the batteries are hooked together. Not hooked to the system yet, but again, two parallel strings, 48 volt system. And so today it's going to be putting a putting it together and the uh, batteries will be brought into this power distribution panel and, and hooked up so got a lot of details to work out today yesterday was getting everything in place modules on the roof uh, we've got disconnects to put in panels so a lot of electrical work today and uh, that's good it looks like rain's coming so it'll be nice to, we're going to try to button up the outside and then we'll be working in here to hook everything up. We'll give you an update. But this again is a, a small, relatively small system. And uh, we'll provide uh, uh, a lot of, I guess, peace of mind when the power goes out in this area. They have a lot of ice storms. And so looking forward to them having to be able to test this and, and run things like freezers. And uh, get that one locked up. But I know that that is absolutely full of food and it'd be a shame to lose that and now they're not going to okay we just mounted the secure panel and put a double 60 amp breaker in that's coming from the um, distribution panel and uh, see we've uh, wired up some of the charge controller again this is an MPP260-150 um, so the solar panels on the roof are in groups of threes, series together, um, to stay under 150 volts for each string. So there'll be four strings uh, on the roof, 12 panels, four strings um, coming into this charge controller, which will control the obviously the charging rate of the battery bank. And then we'll um, finish up here putting uh, at least uh, eight, possibly nine. Uh, critical circuits, pulling them out of this and uh, rerouting them and putting them in here. So this is nice location for everything. Okay, and then the battery cables have been made up uh, to bring coming from the battery cable from the battery bank, sorry, over to uh, from the battery box to the distribution panel, and those need to be the same length, no matter if the positive is shorter than the negative. Uh, they need to be the same length just to balance out the, the charging. So, okay, we're uh, making good progress, and hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be uh, testing. So everything should be hooked up, uh, I believe, by this afternoon. And then in the morning, come back, I'm going to test it. We are missing a 60-amp breaker, I believe, for this distribution panel. That's the only thing that didn't come in, so it might come in today. All right, great. Okay, we're about to put the last panel in. We've got to finish up this combiner box first. 
and you've got your uh, four sets of uh, strings coming in from the panels here and then uh, run number 10 wire down to the solar disconnect disconnect the whole array you have to have a disconnect for the power company and uh, so once this box is and once these connections are made and the ground is put in place we'll plug in the last panel I think we'll be done on the roof it's looking good okay the combiner box is buttoned up everything's been tested for polarity on the strings and we're about to set the last panel in here hook it up and uh, conduit's been run wire's been run so like I said tomorrow hopefully we'll be able to test everything okay the the top is done the 12 modules are all hooked together into the combiner box which is under that third panel third module Got wires run down everything tested out voltage wise so okay exciting the top's done and the bottom is getting there so hopefully be able to wrap up this job tomorrow okay the conduit coming down from the combiner box feeds into the the solar disconnect got this label now the solar array disconnect that is feeding inside to the inverter charger and then the overall disconnect from the system because you got the batteries even if the solar is not putting out power you still have that battery bank there feeding the house so that's a disconnect there um, in case there was a fire or, or for whatever reason a power company needed to shut the system down they throw that disconnect and that would uh, shut the system down so just wanted to show you that from the outside so again coming down from the combiner box on the roof into the solar disconnect, the array disconnect, and then we have the overall system disconnect here. All right. We have finished this uh, backup system secure panel with 14 circuits, including water and a sump pump, refrigeration, freezers, uh, wash machine. It's awesome. And so the circuits were moved over from the main panel here and just moved over to a secure panel it's uh, like five o'clock sun's down it's raining but the array is just it's just making a little bit 100 and 100 watts which is nothing but uh, it's the end of the day and um, so this is just really cool so system is working and that is just awesome I'm still learning about this meter let's see meters Loads. Okay, that's what's one of the batteries at 55 volts. The battery temperature 69, 55 volts on the battery array. Awesome. 6048. Alright, I'm putting it back. Alright, battery 54.3 volts. Batteries are full. So, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to bore you with that stuff, but the big picture is battery backup is up, um, their secure load is in, is working, and everything is uh, as it should be. So, anyway, had a lot of fun. This is my first system working with a Xantrex hybrid inverter charger, and uh, this should produce about tw you, about 25% of this home's power should be off the grid right now. So. And with the power off, it will definitely kick into the secure panel. So they'll still have their critical circuits and water, most importantly. So, all right, thanks for watching this. My first battery, my backup system. And it's, again, it's a 2.88 kilowatt system. All right, thanks for watching.